Here's the plain truth, my friends. We in Arizona face a very clear reality between July 1st of this year and June 30th of 2010. The state government will run a budget deficit of roughly $3 billion with no improvement in sight. A deficit that Governor Jan Brewer says was created by ill-conceived and frivolous spending by past administrations. Tuesday at Northern Arizona University, the governor laid out her five-step plan to balance the budget and help Arizona's economy. First, she proposed that the process the government uses to estimate its revenue become more accurate and fair. We will end the current fiscal year not with an 8% revenue growth, as was projected, but with a 12% decline. Second, she said Arizona should stop adding or expanding programs that cannot be paid for. Third, Governor Brewer proposed cut spending by $1 billion by 2010. A budget without further reductions will not receive my signature. Acknowledging that some good programs will be lost. And it is an outrage that poor planning and funny math has created false hope. Fourth, the governor proposed tax reductions starting in 2012 that she says will attract new businesses as well as help existing ones grow. We cannot have a tax structure that holds back job creation. We need a tax structure that promotes jobs and sustainability as well as revenue sustainability. The governor then defended her anti-tax and fiscally conservative credentials before proposing the fifth step. As a very last resort, after considering every other option and after doing truthful and honest assessment of our economic situation, we must be willing to consider the passage of a temporary tax increase. Flagstaff Mayor Sarah Pressler was in attendance and said that she had no criticism for Governor Brewer's plan. The key here is that if the governor succeeds, I succeed and you succeed. So what's important to remember is that good fiscal policy is good for all of Arizona. Look, I don't agree with every single point of the governor's plan, but here's the key. We've got to take care of children. We have to take care of higher education and we have to take care of this significant deficit. In Flagstaff, Stephen Root for azdailysun.com.